I'm making chicken soup for Shabbos. I'm not making the huge pot like I normally do. I'm doing a little smaller one. This is actually going in my cookbook and I measured every single recipe. Like in my mind, if somebody's never made chicken soup before and they follow the recipe exactly, they're gonna make perfect chicken soup. Now everybody has different things that makes theirs perfect. Chicken soup's a very personal thing, but I just felt like in my cookbook, I want people who've never made these things before to be able to just follow the recipes exactly and get something good. I just noticed, look, my phone <laughs> is right there. I don't have a fancy system here, people, okay? But let me show you what goes in my chicken soup. It's really easy. And for the book I measured, but when I'm just making it at home on a regular Shabbos, I don't measure. Starting with parsnips, turnips, onions, carrots, zucchini, celery root. You can use celery, but I prefer celery root. These are little cloth bags of dill and parsley. I also love these cheesecloth bags. And what I actually like to do is put a whole onion in because not only does it add flavor, but the color from the skin adds beautiful color to the soup. So I put this inside of a cheesecloth bag. And the herbs also, because then they're just easy to take out at the end, I squeeze all the flavor out of them and then I discard the herbs. Now I'm actually gonna chop these up, but what some people do is they leave them whole and they just put them in the soup. And at the end, they'll actually either chop them up to put into the bowls of soup or actually put them on the table and people can serve themselves whatever vegetables they want. The onion goes in a bag like this and then I just put it in the pot. To anyone who's been considering making cooking videos and you think your videos have to be perfect and your lighting perfect, please know that you do not need to have perfect videos in order to make great cooking videos to show people how to make the food. That's what really matters. Screw the good lighting. I just put my chicken inside of the pot as well. This is a very full pot. Now this is gonna get water and you can use like bouillon or just a lot of kosher salt or onion soup mix too. I don't like to use chicken broth in the soup because it adds a lot of sodium and honestly, we're making chicken broth. In terms of chicken, using chicken on the bone is great because the bones are gonna add extra flavor. But if you want, you can also use pargio, which is dark meat chicken off the bone and then also add chicken bones. I've got the fire going and I'm gonna bring this to a boil, then lower the heat to like medium low and let this simmer covered for anywhere from four to six hours. If you have a smaller pot than this, you can do like three to four hours, but honestly, the longer it's cooking on the stove, the better. This is how it looks before and this is after. So now I can remove any of the bags, like the chicken, I can remove it, shred it up and put it back into the soup. And like I said before, any of these bags, like with the herbs and the onion, I squeeze all of the flavor out of it right back into the soup and then I discard the bags. See, I have all the chicken here shredded up and then it could just go right back into the soup. And now all this needs is some matzo balls and it's done. Look at that, it's beautiful.